All right, what's going on guys? We are down here in the Everglades, gonna be fishing this canal that is behind me using just some live red worms. So I got two different setups uh, set up. One of them I'm gonna be bottom fishing kind of toward the middle of the canal with a full one of these. My second set, I'm gonna cut this thing up into some really, really small pieces. I'm gonna to try to micro fish between all this vegetation. Now, the goal always is to try to get some new species that I don't have in my life list yet. And I'm thinking this should be a pretty good way to do it. There's tons of different fish in the Everglades that I've never caught before. So using live worms should be able to get me some new fish. At least that's the plan and the goal. So let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. All right, so here's our first setup. That is a full red worm. Might be a little too big, but we'll give it a shot anyway. And then above that, just a small little, probably it's a, I think it's a one eighth ounce sinker. So we're just gonna cast this out kind of toward the middle of the canal, let it sit on the bottom. And hopefully there is some fish that swims by and wants to eat this thing up. While that's down there, let's get my second rod set up. All right, and here's our second setup. It's a small little snago hook with maybe a quarter inch of worm and then a small split shot right above that. So this I'm gonna drop kind of in between all these little openings here in the weeds. I could already see some micros over there. So I'm curious what those guys are. Hopefully there's some new fish for my life list. So let me just drop this down. It's a little windy which makes this tough, but let's see. There's some fish on it already. They're super tiny though. What is that? It looks just like a mosquito fish. It's not what I really want. What is that? Let's see it. Looks like, looks like it is just a little mosquito fish. Swallow that thing whole though. Alrighty, yes, that is just a little Eastern mosquito fish. It's a little disappointing of a start so far. We'll let this guy go. Now, every canal that I fished in South Florida has tons of little mosquito fish. I was hoping here we would be able to find something else. Um, still hopeful, but that's not a good start. Oh, what do we got? All right, so this is definitely something a little different. I don't know what it is. Definitely some sort of a sunfish, but which one? At this size, they're gonna be really tough to tell apart. So right now, I have no idea. I'll take a few pictures and then hope I could identify it later. If you know what this is, I could probably use some help on this one. really windy which makes getting this super small worm right where you want it pretty tough what do we got yep so these guys are just slightly bigger but it is still just an eastern mosquito fish that's disappointing what do we got is this another mosquito fish? Looks like it is. So all we got today were mosquito fish and that one sunfish of some sort. So that, that is not too good. I really thought we were gonna get some more species than this. Oh, what do we got? Just another mosquito fish looks like. One of the smaller ones for the day, but definitely just a mosquito fish. That's really disappointing. Really thought we were gonna get more species today. Like there, there's tons of fish out here. <laughs> They're all just the same species, which is really, really disappointing. So I think we get mosquito fish. I'm just gonna skip that. If we get something cool, I'll include it. Oh, we got something. What is this? All 
All right, so this is gonna be a baby warmouth. Let's look at this guy. All right, definitely Lepomish genus. You can see the vertical bars on it. Cute little juvenile warmouth sunfish. All right, so that was pretty cool. I've caught warm mouths before, so nothing special, but I will take anything over an Eastern mosquito fish today. Oh, what do we got? What is this? Oh, an African jewel cichlid. New species for the day, awesome. All right, so perse perseverance pays off. I had no idea that jewel cichlids were actually in the Everglades, but I, I guess this proves that they are. So new species for the day. There's actually several different jewel cichlid species that are in Florida now. Um, really tough to tell them apart. The state of Florida kind of lumped them all together as one but some independent research found that there's several different actual species. So I don't know what species of jewel cichlid this is. I would love to find that out and maybe it'll be a new one for the life list as well. Oh, fish on. What is this? What is this? A uh, little bluegill, I think. All right, so this is not a bluegill. It's got a little bit of red right there on the ear flap. This is gonna be a red ear sunfish, native to the Everglades. <laughs> One of the few fish that are actually left here that are native, but nice little guy, let's let him go. Oh, what do we got? Another fish. Okay, so once again, this is, looks like one of those, the first sunfish I caught. I don't know what it is. It looks to be a dollar or even possibly a blue spotted. It's not a warm mouth, not a bluegill. There are spotted sunfish in here, but they don't look like this. They have black dots. This one has like white, light blue dots. So either a dollar sunfish or a blue spotted would be my best guess, but I don't know. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, something different. Yes, 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 yes. What is this? All right, I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, this is gonna be a new species for the life flicks, because I know I've never caught this before. Now all I need to do is identify it. I don't, I don't even know what this is. Looks like a inland silver side. I, I don't know. If you know, I'm gonna need some help on this one. But awesome, got a new species for the life flicks, as long as I can identify what it is. All right, sunset is coming up, so I don't have too much time left. Would like to get one more fish. What's crazy is I got nothing on that big red worm on the bottom here. I was sure I would have got something on there, but nothing wanted it. What do we got? Just another mosquito fish. Haven't caught one of these in a good couple minutes, but there's tons of these in here. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Another jewel fish? Yep, so it looks like we got our second African jewel fish of the day. Again, there's a couple different species that are now, I guess you could say feral down in Florida. I don't know which one this is. I'm gonna try to figure that out and ask some people to help ID it later. But this is gonna be our last fish of the day. 
I'll be right back with a quick wrap up. All right, so it ended up being a pretty good day. Uh, optimistically, I have three new species for my life list. Number one, that kind of uh, sunfish that I wasn't able to identify, which I believe is a dollar sunfish. Although I didn't know that the range extends this far down south, so I gotta double check that. So optimistically, that is species number one. Uh, species number two is this African jewel cichlid. I caught two of them, one here kind of toward the end. Um, there's a couple different jewel cichlid species in Florida. The Florida Wildlife Conservation Department, whoever, the people that are in charge of the wildlife in Florida, they kind of lump all the jewel cichlids together. So if you go on the website, there's only one species listed. Uh, but some other researchers have found, I think it's even up to five different jewel cichlid species that are kind of feral in Florida. So I believe this is a different one, not the same one that I caught up in Broward County last year. And then number three, that I don't even know what it is. The look looked a little bit like an inland silver side. That might be what it is, I don't know. That is definitely a new species. So conservatively, I have one new species. Optimistically, I have three. I've gotta go and identify them all anyway. But pretty good day. I, I was worried, I thought it was gonna be a lot of mosquito fish. If I just let the kind of worms sit on top, kind of in the top uh, part of the water column, all it was was mosquito fish, got nothing else. But once I let it drop to the bottom, that's kind of where all those other species showed up. So I'm not complaining, it's a pretty good day. Nothing hit the big worm on the bottom, but I don't care, micro fishing was a success. So I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.